So we had a crying Kenisa. Kenisa? Who made Kenisa cry? Mark? That's not fair. Don't make Kenisa cry at all. Then we had so many kisses. Bridget was kissing. Jillian was kissing. And the awkward, most awkward kiss of all. Oh, Melissa. My Melissa. <laughs> hey guys, so I'm back again. So in today's video, I'm reviewing The Bachelor SA Season 2, Episode 8. 8? Eight. <laughs> yeah, 8. I'm bad at counting. So to, as I review The Bachelor, I'll be eating some butter nuts. They're very delicious. I made them myself. And I'll be drinking a smoothie. This is... Uh, just a banana smoothie milkshake smoothie what's the difference yeah something like that i just made a mixture <laughs> i don't know what to call it so like typical bachelor it started with a group date so the group date was between oh was actually all the ladies except Kaniso and bridget so that was Melissa, maricia jessica ara jessica c mm, Gillian, and who else was there Ricky. So this group date was uh, they went to a relationship and communication coach and they were supposed to hug Mark uh, blindfolded. So these ladies were supposed to, to give him a hug for 15 minutes. No, 15 seconds. Yeah, for a period of 15 seconds. And uh, so basically it was about finding out if these ladies have physical physical chemistry with Mark. So the first one was Melissa and they had the most awkward, <laughs> awkward hug. Yeah, the first one was Melissa followed by Ricky, then I think Jillian, then Maricia and everything. So when it reached, obviously, on Jesse R, there was so much chemistry, so much tension, so much sexual, everything. It was like the hug was so much important. I've never seen so much sexual or physical tension between two people <laughs> yeah there was that much and then then there was Pasha obviously you know Pasha always brings the thing there was that emotional sexual physical connection it was so intense that hug was her oh my god then the last one was JCC then JCC went like she wanted to make a statement then give Mark yeah, like he she hit max but <laughs> when she reached before hugging him then she hugged him yeah but still there was that physical connection <laughs> i don't know i'm using so much connection because these people keep using connection so i feel i should use the connection right and uh, just like them then afterward mark had to tell which person was number one and hugging him and yeah, it happened like that. Then he hugged, uh, he mentioned the order. Then he also, he gave Jessica Ara a rose because he said Jessica Ara put more effort in the hug, which made the other ladies offended, which I'll come to that. I mean, I'll talk about later. <laughs> yeah, so the ladies were offended, but I'll talk about it later during this uh session then um he gave maricia a wild rose and if you don't know wild rose um the, for those who, who do bachelor some watch bachelor somewhere else but in bachelor S -S season two the wild rose is like a white rose that is given uh to a contestant and the contestant has the power to steal a one-on-one -on -one date uh from anyone given the opportunity that they have that wild rose so yeah so he gave it to maricia so maricia in the next episode on i don't know when she has that ability to steal that that one-on-one -on -one. then uh then he picked jessica c so that they could go on a one-on-one -on -one date from the group date he picked jessica c but what back at the mansion bridget and kiniso had had remained so he wrote kiniso kiniso whatever her name he wrote kiniso um invited Kenisa on a one-on-one -on -one date and when she went on that one-on-one -on -one date she was even told like to park and everything yeah 
So when they went on that one on one date, uh, Kinisa was so surprised to find Jessica see that side. So Mark sat them down and asked, I mean, he told them uh, what's going to happen, that one of them is not going to go back to the mansion, the one of them is going to leave the, like, the, is going to leave this place indefinitely. So he was like, he was having concerns about sweet Kinisa. He was thinking since she's an actress, maybe she's just acting she's not in love with him then according to uh then he was he, uh, the concerns on jessica see were like were that she's not opening up and these ladies gave it their all so they literally uh i mean went uh they went horse riding obviously but they were just supposed to like to talk to talk so it was like separately so the first like horse riding date was between mark and kenny so so they just talked about different things they talked about how if she's ready if she's acting and oh kenny so was so emotional she was crying i felt so bad who made kenny so cry like i really felt bad that she was crying and this is like my favorite contestant so far yeah and i felt bad that she was crying then jessica see she's so lovely and everything but yeah it's a bachelor one person had to get then afterwards they had like a mini rose ceremony so he had to choose one between the two and he gave kinesa a rose i was so happy but i felt bad for jessica because she's also such a lovely person but anyway he had to choose one so it's clean her the kitty, so king, so king, so king, Kinesa. Yes, I said it. Kinesa. Yeah, that one. It was Kinesa. Then back at the mansion, at the mansion, when those ladies went back, they found that Bridget was alone. They asked her about everything. Then Bridget explained that Kinesa is aware and everything. When Kinesa came back, she just told them Jessica C had left. They was, I mean, they were crying and everything. You know. <laughs> everyone was crying because yeah she seemed like a good person so probably she was the friend to almost everyone in the mansion and that's a good thing then after that <laughs> what came next was the dinner the cocktail party but the cocktail party was like dinner and at that dinner they invited mark mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It wasn't just the cocktail, it was just the, it was a dinner and the ladies were seated with Mark, but the ladies were still upset. The ladies who had gone on the one-on-one -on -one date with uh, Mark, were, I mean, on the group date. The ladies who had gone on the group date with Mark were still upset that he used the way that Jessica Ara was the only person who put more effort in those hugs, uh, in giving him the hug during the, the group date. So Jillian took that time and even uh, confronted him and confronted him about saying the other guys so by hugging 15 seconds of their time which was hugging him he thinks he, uh, he literally said they didn't put effort which was offensive for most of the ladies and everyone was upset and everything like that until like every, they, the air just cleared and everything but before that while they, they were eating there was so much like tension because no one wanted to talk to him so he sat between Jillian and Pasha like Pasha was giving him the attitude obviously you know Pasha has got that attitude yeah he was giving she was giving him the attitude like everyone was just the only person he could look at was Bridget because Bridget was the only one who never went for the date and was laughing and she, yeah then afterwards because he was so tense he just decided to take on I mean to invite Bridget on it or like so that they go and talk away from the ladies when he went to talk to to talk to her away from the ladies then they talked about the kissing thing which it seems to be the topic <laughs> I mean every time they talk they always talk about kissing like how he hasn't kissed her and how he, they want it to be special and everything or and the boy was like mm -hmm. special <laughs> mm-hmm how they wanted to be special and everything so finally bridget and mark kiss and that was i feel i 
I mean, they were saying it, it was so nice and stuff like that, like this, but I felt it was forced, like. <laughs> yeah, I felt it was so fast. And uh, before the, the kissing with Bridget, they were talked about how he has, he, Bridget asked if he has had sparks with some ladies while kissing them and while then he admitted that he has some spark with some ladies and she doesn't have spark with other ladies. Then he talked to Pasha. The second person he talked to was Pasha. Obviously Pasha, Queen Pasha. I don't know what word we can refer to her. She's, she was like still in the mood. You know, Pasha is always in the mood. Like she's always upset. She's always annoyed. I mean, she's just... <laughs> I don't know, Mark is here and Posh is here. They're always like, they're all, there's always something they need to complain about. <laughs> like the two are always, I don't know. She's always upset <laughs> with Mark. So she was upset with him and Mark was like, no, you have to like, he was like, even if you're in the mood, then she was like, you know what? If like, she's always questioning his decisions. So she she was like to Mark, if if the people the person you chose, which is this era, the type of hug and everything, is what you like, I feel it's not nice for me to continue here and stuff like that. She was like, I it's better I live. Then Mark was like, no, uh, he tried to justify everything. Then he was like, can I give you a rose? Even if you please accept, because I would want you to be here because I feel there will be so much connection. Yeah. <laughs> then what else? Hmm. Yeah. Then then he he had he went to talk to Jillian. Jillian uh, was like, uh, "Who did you talk to?" Yeah, he talked to Jillian. They also kissed. So he kissed like three, four people. <laughs> yeah. Then there was the awkward kiss <laughs> between Mulesa and Mark. I feel the Mulesa Mark thing is not working at all because that was so awkward starting from the hug <laughs> following the <laughs> following the kisses which was false because like they were like we should kiss who counts when kissing like seriously we'll be like one two three <laughs> let's try it like, oh my god yeah the kiss but i feel, i mean even though they, they continue kissing and it seemed flawless flawless yeah it seemed flawless how do you say that? Yeah, it seemed like that. <laughs> Even though the kiss like that. Yeah, I feel it was so forced and awkward. And I feel it shouldn't have happened. You should have just waited for that moment. Yeah. Then afterwards, um they went back to eat and everything. Then Mark was given chicken and Jessica Ara also got like <laughs> chicken everyone got chicken uh, obviously then the ladies like Bridget, Melissa and Marisa like, it was actually Bridget and Marisa started joking because apparently Jessica Ara told them that Mark is ready to change the diet <laughs> his diet which is the vegetarian I mean he, which is like eating normally to being a vegetarian and when Mark was eating the chicken, the ladies were like surprised because she, they were told otherwise by Jessica Ara. And <laughs> it was so funny. But in the end, even Jessica Ara, who is a vegetarian, <laughs> she ate chicken. Like, you're like, oh, like seriously, are you eating chicken? Are you a vegetarian? Are you really a vegetarian? Her justification was that because she ate the chicken because, because of what? <laughs> she was too weak. She said she only eats chicken when she's too weak and her body is not swelling her, so she ate chicken. But according to Kenisa, Kenisa says, uh, Jessica Ara ate the meat, ate the chicken because she wants to be the perfect person who can go extra miles. So she just wants to portray the to portray the extra thing. Then afterwards, um. I mean, after Mulesa gets Mulesa and awkward dread, I mean, kissing and everything, you found that Reiki never got a rose. Then, obviously, Jason, our lovely Jason, walks in and says, Reiki, 
you didn't receive that no it was <laughs> our lovely jason walks in and says ricky you didn't receive the rose titan you pocket box <laughs> no he didn't say that but yeah so ricky never received the rose and she went home which is sad because i liked ricky anyway that's what really transpired but today's episode was literally juicy i liked it bachelor keep bringing it thank you thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel rods to 1000 i am celebrating so obviously we're celebrating 700 subscribers yeah rods to 1000 hmm. i can't wait please subscribe share with your pals your friends your families and everyone just share just share, please share, please share.